In the previous step number two video, I have already shown you how to create a front end product. And in this video, I want to show you how to create a one time offer product and then attach this one time offer product to your front end product. When you do that, essentially you will have created a sales funnel. So the first thing you need to do is go to the manage products page, go to products, manage and you will arrive at this page click the add new oto which stands for one time offer okay this is basically almost the same as in the previous video which is about creating a front end product but i'm going to go through that here again very quickly so let's give your product a name so in the first uh in the previous video i showed you how to create a front-end product, product which is about the hypnosis home study course so let's say that right now, the one-time offer you are offering a hypnosis live webinar and you are also using PayPal standard to take payments and the pricing is in US dollars and let's make this $250 one-time fee enter your support contact info, your URL, and support email. And do you want to allow refund? Yes, I'm going to choose 30 days in this example. Do you want to add to customer auto respond list? I'm going to select no in this example. And affiliate program, yes, I want to enable that. Delay commissions is 30 days and commission percentage is 50%. Enter your sales page URL and enter your thank you page URL. Again, all of these have been explained in the previous video. So I'm going to go, into go through that again. And after I'm done, I click save changes. And I go down and click the go live and publish button to publish this product and make sure I agree to the acceptable use policy. I hit yes and click publish my product now it says that your product has been successfully published you can start selling this product immediately cool and let's now go to integration settings and order button we click here it will open a new window now we need to enter both the order button as well as the decline your decline uh, tax link okay because this is a one-time offer then you would need to have a yes link, which essentially says, okay, I'm taking up the customer, which essentially means that the customer wants to take up your offer, or if he doesn't want, uh, insert a no thanks URL. Okay, so for, let's go this one by one. Other buttons for this one, let's say I want to choose this design. Same thing as before, copy this code, and this I'm using WordPress in this example. Let's delete this, okay. We go to the text tab, scroll down, okay, and hit enter, and I paste the code over here, and I also need to paste in a no thanks link. So I click this one, I copy it, and I paste it here, okay, so this is the order button link and this is the no thanks link so i click the visual tab to see what this looks like okay this is the other button uh, align center and no thanks i can also align center so once people are i'm going to hit enter again to make so that there are some spaces here so when people see your one-time offer they can either click this add to cart button to purchase to purchase it or they say oh, this is not for me so you just click no thanks link over here okay so now and make sure to save your page in wordpress okay now we go back to the products page manage products page because we need to link the one-time offer that we have just created which is this one link it to the front end product which is this one okay so we click the front end product which is the hypnosis home study course and go to the one time offer use one time offer yes and uh, click here add new and give this OTO name this is only for your own internal purpose your customers will not see this I'm going to give this 
just make this OT01 for simplicity purposes and then select the product which is this one just code notice live webinar one time and I hit save and close it will be added to the inactive OTO area and then I need to drag this one from the inactive OTO area to the active OTO area so I drag and drop it over here and then I am done I click save changes okay so every time a customer has purchased this product which is the front end they're going to be offered your one-time offer product which is this one hypnosis live webinar so that's it now you have created a sales funnel if you want to create more than one oto you can do that simply uh, do what i have just done showed you 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 go ahead and create another OTO. After that, you just need to add the additional OTO over here at new. So for example, let's say that you have, this is the uh, product that you want to attach as your second OTO. Then you just need to select this one and click save and close. And then just drag from above to below and then you are done. Make sure to click save changes.